Baby girl Blake first came to us uh, as a fetus about halfway through her development, which was actually before 20 weeks and 19 weeks, which is very early. And when she first came to see us, uh, while she was still inside her mom's tummy, um, we found that there was a gigantic uh, left-sided lung malformation. They sent us on to a uh, specialist and they noticed that her heart was pushed over all the way to her right side of her rib cage. And so uh, they were like, well, that's kind of odd. We thought so too. That doctor sort of knew what it was, but not really. And even though he had told us that he was the specialist in Dallas for this type of thing, he would have to look it up and you know, go home and maybe your baby won't die. After we went home, we cried, got upset, and then we got mad and got on the internet and managed to find what she has, which is a CCAM, and then found Texas Children's from there. When the Blake family first came to see us, uh, they had a very careful, comprehensive evaluation here at the Texas Children's Fetal Center, which included a careful study of Harley's heart, to be honest, when uh, the Blake family first presented, I thought for sure that we were going to need to perform fetal surgery to actually go inside and remove this lung mass. And fortunately, over that two or three week period, it did not get worse. It didn't get better yet, but it didn't get worse. Our child's health is our responsibility, and you know, she's a fetus at the time. So it's like, you, you know, you work with doctors, you work together, and it's like you have to also be responsible for your child's health and know what's out there because you can't just rely on one. You have to say, you know, I'm going to do two referrals, three referrals and keep going until you find the answer you want because we don't know what would have happened had we not had the foresight to say, you know what, we've got to fight this. The Blake family really wanted to deliver here, particularly at the new Texas Children's Pavilion for Women just to have the, the team around that could respond if Harley were to have any problems or any symptoms. She's just a happy, healthy, normal baby. You wouldn't even know anything's no. wrong. No, Harley recently had surgery, but we've removed that malformed tissue. Um, she's recovered beautifully from that, and I believe that she has every opportunity to be a completely normal baby. Yeah, we found Dr. Cass and Dr. Olatoya, and just with everything that we read about them and read about Texas Children's and have heard by reputation, you know, it, we decided, you know, that was the place for us. Over the last decade or so, Texas Children's Hospital has, has been able to build an expert team that has expertise in everything to do with fetal medicine. I think just having that team all in one location allows us to get the best outcomes possible for babies, even with the, the sickest and most complex conditions.